You're watching T.S. Madison TV. My God, today. <laughs> Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning. What, what, what? Wait, no, no. What time is it? Yeah, we gonna go whatever time it is. It's morning. It's nine o'clock somewhere, bitch. Get in here and watch the show. This morning. Good morning, y'all. I probably fuck him in the living room while he's cheering home. All right. So, y'all, we got a real heavy show this morning. I don't know if y'all gonna like this show. You know, we we're we gonna be talking about the things of all the stuff. Uh, it's gonna get a little deep, deeper than the pussy of a bitch, six feet. <laughs> Well, yeah, with this, this morning show, me and Craig was talking about this. It's called Fighting in the House. Fighting in the motherfucking house. Go ahead on to start out. The other day, I made a post on social media, and Craig and I, Craig and I both were talking heavily about this, and it kind of spread out, and like the people got kind of hot with the dog. Y'all, I don't know what it is about y'all getting mad with me for certain situations and stuff like that, but you know, you just got to scratch your ass and get glad because I'm gonna have my opinion. Roll my opinion over here, Mo. Let me see what my opinion said. My opinion said, please, please miss me with those dumb fucking excuses, lines that he ain't know or they be tricking men when you try to blankly find justification in the murders of trans women, men been using those lies to protect that quote unquote man capital hood shit for years. Wake up! They fuck us too. Wake up, bitch. They fuck us too. And, um, I want to piggyback off that a little bit. And then I'm going to bring Craig on because Craig and I were talking talking, and um, he made some valid points when we were talking about um, talking about some stuff. So I want you to post this next thing, which was on my girl Tokyo uh, Vanities page that I took. And I, because, because this kind of runs right in, right into what I was talking about. Put, put put this thing up because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna merge these things together. That one right there, run that over there. So Tokyo posted on her page as well because y'all gonna see how I'm gonna tie this shit in together. Y'all know I'm a good weaver, like a shadow weaver. She says, so I got this friend who been with his girl for five years, and recently over the last three months, he just started fucking her mama. Now, the mom is blackmailing him because he don't want to smash no more. And he asking me, what should he do? I'm back, Mo. You, back. you want me to start? You want me to tie it on in? So if niggas lie and say they ain't doing X, Y, and Z, you know, because the man, the man say he been he 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 he, he got a friend. Or she say he got a friend who been with his girl for five years, and he recently started fucking her mama. Now, somebody in that house, you know, knows some shit going on. Am, am I right about it? They just close their eyes. They don't want to see it. Now, and, and I want to go back to what I was talking about so I can merge the two together. When I said that they fuck us too, they be fucking with us and they use those excuses they didn't know. Now, what I don't get with peoples, because it ain't just women's, it's men's and things too, but we gonna talk, we talk to the ladies because I got a lot of ladies following. You quick to believe everything. He ain't, he ain't, he won't do that. He won't, I mean, he'll do this and he'll do that. But when he said he won't do that, that he didn't know y'all believe that first. Bring Craig on. Let me, let me, let me see how me and Craig tow that shit up. Yes, Craig. <laughs> Craig, yes. Yes, Craig. Craig, yes. Spin it round, Craig. So, you know, we talking this morning because we were talking about this the other day. Yes, Craig. No, no, like Craig. I don't know. I know where your finger just been. Don't please don't stick your finger. <laughs> <head. laughs> uh, 
you know, the thing, that, the thing that was so interesting when you and I were talking about this the other day is that women know that men can get caught up in a lot of shit. A lot of dirty shit. A lot women, of dirty shit. Yes. And women know that men lie. Women know that men are scandalous. And this isn't all men. But it's when, a lot of the motherfuckers. But come on. Right. But when men get involved with trans women and it comes out, women don't want to believe that that man was with a trans woman. Or they don't want to believe that he knew. he It had that to be knew. They don't want to believe that he knew, or they don't want to believe that that's something he he sought out after. That don't they, they don't want to believe. You don't want to believe none of that. You can believe all that other stuff. You can believe all that other shit. You listen, listen, listen. That man can come to you and tell you all that other shit, and, and you and you don't. You know you you don't believe him. You don't. I don't believe. You know what I'm saying? Here, I, 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 I mean, I just don't. I mean, he ain't that kind. Of, I mean, he, I he, believe he was fucking my mama. He would, but I believe it. But now he ain't do that. Uh, uh-uh, he was fucking that part. Uh, uh-uh, uh, he don't. He don't do that. Oh hell no, hell no, not me. Nah. He ain't that kind of guy. I mean, he, he ain't is. that kind of guy. Now, nah, I just wanted you to hear the. Tra- I could see. I put that because I want. I'm putting my glasses back on. You know, I had my eye surgery yesterday. Mm-hmm. I wanted you to hear how treacherous. Mm-hmm. The post from Tokyo Vendor, put the post, don't even move, Craig. Put the post next to me. This is how treacherous. Mm-hmm. Treacherous, treacherous, Craig. Mm-hmm. So I got this friend who been with his girl for five years. And recently, over the last three months, he just started fucking her mama. And the mama right. smashed it out. Blackmailing him because he don't want to smash her no more. And he asking me, what should he do? So you think that as trifling, low down, dirty, filthy, nasty, scum bucket as this kind of man is, you mean to tell me if he had got caught in an uncompromising position, that means his knees and ankles behind his ears? Mm-hmm. But see, like Keshwana just said, I don't put nothing past nobody. Because the mama, in this situation, look at the mama. Then she knows she trash for that. That's like Miss Mary fucking somebody that you... Right. Miss Mary can't even get her legs. Like Miss Mary, Miss Mary have a hard time in there getting the battle to my open her leg. <laughs> That's like Gladys talking about, yeah, I'm going to start talking to that young man that you were... Wait, girl, what? Now, how are you going to do that? To the screen. Hey, ho! Yeah. <laughs> niggas hey, be fucking, niggas be fucking. Oh, man. Ciao. Hope they said it's a lie. How? The statistics are there. The numbers are there. Do, the do you have any? There. Do you have any of the statistics? It is all there. So let me, cause let me pull it up, so people don't feel like a bitch be lying. I just had to get people together. In 2020, we've already seen 15 transgender and gender non-conforming people died. That is killed. That's just 15. The numbers have staggered every single year. So since 2015, we've seen an increased amount of transgender women, most of them being Black transgender women, Mm -hmm. being killed. Now, out of that number, 98% of the Black women that were killed were killed by a Black man. The rest of them either have not been confirmed or people didn't do the investigation to actually give enough of a fuck about who killed them. And I think that to me, it's really crazy how black cisgender women, like Craig said, will go to bat for black men and be knowing he be lying. They will know he be lying. They will know because, and the reason I know that some of y'all be on that bullshit is because y'all sit up with us. Y'all sit up and y'all keep keep with us about what the trade is, who the trade is, what y'all think and what y'all don't think. But then when we publicize it and we say this is what they need to stop doing, this is what's happening, y'all be like, uh-uh, y'all just want everybody to be gay. Y'all just want everybody. But that's not true. 
Nobody is forcing these niggas to do nothing. This is not the 1960s. Nobody has to trick anybody. Nobody has to be or pretend to be put. Nobody has to play pussy stunts no more. It's, it's not, niggas know exactly what the fuck they be getting into. They know exactly what they want. And what's even funnier to me is that most of the girls, and I hate to say this, but follow me, y'all. Follow me, especially community folk. I want y'all to follow me. Most of the young ladies that have been murdered and killed aren't the most passable women. Mm -hmm. So for y'all to be sitting back talking about what he, he did didn't know. and how he was tricked, bitch, if you could tell by looking at the article and seeing her picture, what made you thought that he couldn't tell? It but y'all still y'all justify. Y'all justify it by saying, oh, he didn't know. He was tricked. If you weren't tricked by reading the article and seeing one picture of her, how was he tricked by being in her actual presence? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and y'all, y'all yeah. really gotta stop. Y'all gotta yeah. stop. But well, the no, second yeah. that somebody says that's a trans woman, it don't matter if they think she was the prettiest bitch in the world. It don't matter if she's five foot five and 125 pounds. People immediately give less of a fuck, or they stop giving a fuck at all. So mm -hmm. niggas get away with strangling, murdering, dismembering. Do y'all not know we just found a transgender woman with her legs cut off in a fucking suitcase floating in the river? Floating where, in the river. Where did that case happen? That case happened. That was in Philly. And this is the, this is about the third or fourth time in Philly where something like this has happened. And one, it takes them forever and a year to find the person. Mm -hmm. And then two, they still have not identified the killers and stuff. To me, this is this is a big issue because as even though the same things happen to black women, it happens disproportionately to black trans women where people don't care. Mm -hmm. And it's what, what I think a lot of cisgender folks need to understand is that we're not trying to center ourselves on the spectrum of crime and hate and beatings because that happens to everybody. Everybody dies. Everybody gets killed, slaughtered. Mm -hmm. Things like this happen to all people. But what we're saying is that when it happens to Black trans people, y'all be so quick to dismiss it and justify it and ask the questions like, well, what did she do? Mm -hmm. Well, did he know? Well, see, y'all got to stop tricking people. Why does it always have to be this conversation around whether or not we were tricking somebody? Mm -hmm. Why can't it be what I would love to see in the comments is these niggas need to live in their truth and stop killing these girls. Mm -hmm. These niggas need to go ahead and just come out and say what they like and stop killing these girls versus it be about the, why does it have to be on us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why does it, because my thing is y'all know my tea. Y'all know Maddie's tea, but I'm, I'm quite sure that if one of us was to come up missing and the article was to say, oh, we got slaughtered by some black man or whatever the case may be, y'all would still turn around and say, well, Hope should have told the tea. I just, I don't think that that's right. She, but bitch, I tell my tea every day. Go on social I media. Not know. Yeah, right, right. You know, it's, it's, it's just, it's really unfortunate. And it's just one of those things that this is one of those topics that we don't really want to talk about publicly. It's one of those things, one of those ills of the black community that we don't really like to address publicly. It's like one of those things that we want to just kind of sit sit on and just mm -hmm. be, and be mute about and hope that it's just going to kind of go away. Oh, like, but it doesn't. And it doesn't go away. And the biggest thing for me and the one thing that I think that Maddie said that I truly agree with is the fact that I would love to see black men do the same thing for black cis women mm -hmm. as y'all do for them. Mm -hmm. Because y'all go to bat, y'all put y'all bodies on the line for them, y'all put y'all reputations on the line for these men sometimes, and they don't do the same thing. They don't give that same respect and reciprocity back. In fact, I've seen black men gang up on a black woman to defend a white bitch. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I've seen and I've looked at comments. I, when I used to follow the shade room, I used to see some of the comments when, when black women would try to just make black men understand the disproportionate ways in which they be out here capping for women who are not black. And mm -hmm. I've watched multiple black men on one black woman try to come and cap for this white bitch. Just last weekend, my aunt made a statement towards a white woman who was centering herself in the Black Lives Matter movement. And all these black men came out of nowhere and was trying to defend this white woman in the midst of racial injustice right now. And it's crazy to me how, like you said, black women are so forgiving to a fault and they overlook mm -hmm. things so much to a fault that these black men get away with bloody fucking murder. Mm -hmm. And that's why they do what they do. Beyond the idea, because what I want to also stop doing, Craig, <clears throat> 
is I want to stop putting the onus on black women. Yes. Because black women have enough on their shoulders. Yes. Black women have enough on their shoulders and they don't need to carry anything else. And so that's what I'm saying. I just think that some of this, this burden needs to be redistributed and black men, no matter what walk in life you are, whether it's black, gay, whether it's black, uh, bisexual, whatever, I think men need to take more of the burden. Yeah. Black women stand at the front lines for men, women, gays, all of that stuff. And don't get me wrong, some of y'all are problematic as fuck, transphobic as fuck, homophobic as shit, misogynist as fuck. But for the ones who are not, y'all are out there doing so much fucking work for everybody. And then just when you think you about to kick your feet up, here goes somebody else telling you what you should be doing for them as well. That's that mm -hmm. bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's that bullshit. And we, we you know, we, we have to stop. Uh, we have to stop putting it on black women, you know, to make sure that black trans women are safe. And put it on black Paige explaining to someone why it was important to center black trans lives in this moment. And I just wanted to come in here and like double down on what it is that India is sharing because um, it's it's literally the same thing that I was saying about the the video with Haley and talking to her parents, which is like again the question isn't about asking whether or not you know like why black trans people need to elevate their you know, visibility in the world. The question is about why you haven't been. The question is about how is it that there are black people being killed, but the only ones that you see or know about or who names you know are black cis men. How is it that you are still posting videos talking about I'm afraid for my son, like we are still out here waiting for Breonna Taylor's, um, the officers who murdered her to be arrested. Come on, y'all, we gotta do better. And this is why this is why I talk about if you don't do, if you don't ask about your own indoctrination into these systems, you will be out here doing the same shit white supremacist delusion is doing. You'll just be doing it to your own people. I just posted this um clip from Fred Hampton. Uh former chairman of the Black Panther Party in Chicago, who was murdered by the state, killed while he was sleeping in his bed. Um, and he was talking about the way in which, without a political analysis, without an analysis, and I would off offer as well, without an internal shift of the way in which systems of oppression live in you, you will dismantle one and then you will step into the position of the oppressor. You will become that which it was that you attempted to dismantle. So if you are a black person who is not actively fighting for the lives of trans people and disabled black people and fat black people and queer black people and aging black people, then you're not interested in ending oppression. You're interested in being the person who gets to oppress rather than being the person who is oppressed. You're not interested in getting us all free. You just interested in getting the boot off young men. And that is the indoctrination of white supremacist delusion. You are acting in service of the oppressor. That makes you an overseer. And so we have to deal with ourselves. We have to deal with the ways in which these systems of hierarchy, because that's all it is, is that in a system that has told you that white men are the most important thing in the world and that everybody else, that blackness is the least important thing in the world and that everybody else better figure out how to scramble on the ladder. Even within that, we've decided, well, we can further, we still have to be the bottom of the rung. We could, we could make black trans women the bottom of the rung. We could make black trans people the bottom of the rung. And so even still invested in this system of hierarchy within our own spaces. And so we're not gonna get rid of the oppressive system of white supremacist delusion while still honoring its henchmen inside of us. 
because the systems of ableism and cis-centrism and homophobia and transphobia and fatphobia, they are the henchmen of white supremacist delusion. They are the agents of destruction that they send out to make sure that everybody else still gets wrestled together. They're the systems that white misuses to um, segregate within whiteness. It's how, because again, it's a system of hierarchy. So all white people ain't at the top. They create, again, these other areas of oppression so that there is still less and less and less people who are viable for the position of the top rung. We have to destroy the ladder. You have to destroy the ladder inside you. The ladder that has you believe that there is any way in which your being is only valuable based on the degradation, erasure, and violence against some other being's body. The idea that some being is less than you. It, we will never dismantle white supremacy and still hold on to transphobia. Let me say this again. You will never dismantle white supremacy and still hold on to transphobia. Not possible. You won't dismantle white supremacy and hold on to fatphobia or ableism or ageism or homophobia. They all must go. And if we don't get on that train real fast, we're going we're gonna to find ourselves in this exact same struggle again and again and again and again and again. History will repeat itself. If we don't all get free, ain't none of us free. So you better figure out how to, if you really care about whether or not they stop killing black men, then you're gonna have to care about whether or not they stop killing trans women. Because as long as they are allowed to murder, as long as there is a less than, you will always be up for the running. Don't you ever forget it. All black lives matter, every single one of them. And we better act like we know or else we will not win this fight. My good sis, Miss Sonia Renee Taylor. Yes, my good sis. And for some of you all in the comments, I want to show you just how transphobic and I want to show you just how you base things off of what you think classic femininity is because I saw some of y'all who assumed that she was a trans woman. She's not. She's cisgender and has been doing this work for the last 20 years. So for some of you all who thought that Maddie put that video up there because she was a well-spoken black trans woman and she was trying to make a point, no, that's a cisgender ally who understands that until all of us are free, then none of us are free. So one, check your idea of what femininity looks like. Mm -hmm. And then two, educate yourself. Because as long as you seek to be the oppressor, you'll never get exactly what you're looking for. Because white people ain't going to give that up easily. And especially not to people who don't need, who can't even, y'all can't even come together some days to pick whether y'all want to eat at Wendy's or Burger King. And y'all really think y'all are going to throw an oppressor that's been oppressing us for 400 years and then some? <laughs> Baby, when I tell you I was so captiva captivated by her video, like I found it. And I was so captivated by it because she was she was so she she was so she eloquently put it together in a way yes. that even if you are if even yes. if you don't understand the big the, the large words that she was using, you understood yes. the large message that she was given. Yes. And I just was like, why can't people you know understand it? And then I see there are people in my comment section saying, Oh my god, I missed when it when the show was funny. Like we still tell jokes and it's funny, but we are in perilous times right now. And it would be irresponsible to not have some of these heavy conversations. Like, you know, you 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 don't want me talking about this stuff, but this stuff affects me. Like there were bills just put in into the healthcare situations about about trans people. You don't think that the first trans people that gonna go out there is the black ones? Yep. The black ones first, girl. 
If you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao.